Vasti is the most important treatment in Ayurveda. Because of its importance, it is said as Ardha Chigilsa. Ardha Chigilsa means half of the treatment of Ayurveda. So once Vasti is done, it means half of the treatment of Ayurveda is already finished. The reason for the great importance of Vasti is that it is the treatment which can control Vata in your body. There is no movement in the body without Vata. For functioning of any system in the body, a movement is needed. And there is no movement in the body without Vata. Vata controls all the systems like the nervous system, digestive system, reproductive system, excretory system, etc. And Vasti is the treatment which can correct this Vata. Procedure wise, Vasti is similar to enema. It is the introduction of medicine through anal root. But its effect is much deeper. It's not just for cleansing the colon. But it helps in treating almost every diseases. Vasti is of two types. Niruha Vasti or Kashaya Vasti and Sneha Vasti. Niruha Vasti is decoction enema. It is a combination of decoction, oil, honey, ghee etc. There are different combinations of Niruha Vasti said in Ayurveda. For each disease there is different medicine combinations. Sneha Vasti is oil enema. So these two Vastis are done as a single unit. So first let's see Niruha Vasti. Niruha Vasti is usually done between 10.30 to 1 pm. During the time of Vasti, your stomach should neither be full nor should you feel too much of hunger. If the Vasti is done from 10.30 to 11 am, then it's better that you skip the breakfast. And if it is done from 12 to 1, you can have breakfast but have only one fourth or half the quantity of your regular breakfast. Give at least a gap of 3 hours between the meal and vasti so that at the time of vasti, the previous meal has been fully digested. As a pre-operative procedure, most of the time, we club a full body treatment like Abhyangam steam or Kiri before Vasti. If any of this treatment is not done, then you will be having oil massage and steam in the abdomen and back area. After that, lie down in left lateral position with right leg bent towards the chest and the left leg extended straight. Keep the left hand folded below your head. Take deep breath and breathe out through the mouth and relax your body completely. If your body is not relaxed, it will cause tightness in the muscles, especially the anal sphincter will become tight and it will restrict the entry of Vasti needle. Once the medication has completely entered inside, lie down straight in the treatment table till you feel the urge to pass stool. Mostly, within seconds after the administration of the Vasti medicine, you will feel like rushing to the washroom. But if this urge is not coming, lie down straight and wait till the urge comes. Do not lock the washroom so that the therapist can come inside and help you in case of emergency. Very few people experience dizziness after Vasti. After the bowel gets emptied, Take a quick shower and have warm food. Having food right after Vasti is very important or else you might experience some difficulties like dizziness, headache or stomach pain. The food consists of rice and green gram. Along with this you can have vegetable curries also. But it is a must that the food should be warm or little hot. Cold temperature can increase the vada and cause complications. After having food, go to your room and rest. Lie down straight on your back at least for 30 minutes. On the days of Vasti, do not do any strenuous physical exercise or intercourse. The second one is Sneha Vasti or Oil Enema. This is done soon after food. After the Sneha Vasti, do not take a bath. Go to your room 
and lie down on your back and take a rest. Go to the washroom only once you feel the urge. The time for which the oil stays inside your body depends from person to person. It depends on your gut. If your gut is more dry or your body requires more oil, it will stay inside for more time. You might pass it out only after 3 or 4 hours or the next day. But if your body doesn't require the oil, it goes out immediately. So the Niruhavasti and Snehavasti are done as a unit. They will be done in alternate days or as fixed by your physician. The number of days the Vasti will be done depends on the chronicity and severity of your disease. It can extend from 5 days up to 30 days. Most people do feel a little uncomfortable about Vasti when they do it for the first time. But once you become accustomed to it, you will be okay with it.